All right. Have you ever wondered why some conversations seem to go perfectly and others do not? I frequently have the same thought. Whether it's simple miscommunication or a laggy Zoom call, some conversations we have in our day-to-day -day lives seem to go astray. Now, this may be fairly innocuous for mundane conversations, like talking about your morning commute, but for more serious conversations, this can be more problematic. Specifically, I'm talking about goal-directed conversations. Those where we are not talking for idle chit-chat, but we are attempting to convey a specific piece of information to another party, and it's important that that other party comes away from the same conversation with the same understanding as our own. For example, a job interview is a goal-directed conversation. It's important that an interviewee and future employer share a mutual understanding of the conversation at hand, or else the interviewee may not, get the may not get the job and the conversation becomes meaningless. This means that miscommunication is more detrimental to goal-directed conversations than to casual conversations. This process of establishing a mutual understanding of the conversation at hand is referred to as common ground in the world of psycholinguistics. One variable that impacts how we develop common ground is theory of mind. Theory of mind is the unique ability in humans to represent the mental state, thoughts, or emotions of another human while simultaneously maintaining our own representations. Why might this be beneficial for a goal-directed conversation and establishing common ground? Well, when having a goal-directed conversation, it's important to keep in mind what your conversational partner both knows and does not know. Additionally, should they say something incorrect over the course of the conversation, it's important to understand why they held that incorrect belief in the first place and then explain the correction to them. This brings me to my summer fellowship. For my summer fellowship, I researched the question, what is the impact of modeling mental states on goal-directed conversations? To do this, I created two groups, an experimental and a control. There were six pairs of participants in each group for a total of 12 pairs of participants, 24 participants total. The experimental group was primed with a theory of mind inventory aimed with the intention of activating theory of mind cognition to make them more cognizant of their partner's thoughts. The control group received a similar prime that only assessed content and did not aim to activate any theory of mind cognition. After receiving these primes, participants solved three LEGO puzzles. For these LEGO puzzles, participants were able to see their own workspace, but not their partners. One participant was in charge of directing the other participant on how to build an exact replica of the model in front of them. You can see on my PowerPoint our laboratory setup, as well as examples of these models completed flawlessly and with error. We hypothesize that participants who received the theory of mind prime would make fewer errors building these LEGO models than those that did not. The results show just that. You can see on the PowerPoint slide, in green, the experimental group, and red, the control group. The experimental group not only made fewer errors building the models, but actually took less time to do so than the control group. This data has proven invaluable towards work on my thesis here at Villanova. Thank you very much for your time, and I'm happy to answer any questions. Very convincing evidence. Questions about the theory of mind? Yes. <laughs> that, that's a great question, and the world of statistics would say that if someone is very good at building a model in one group, we should, with enough data, get uh, equally a number, an equal number of participants who are good at building those models in the other group. So it's a very valid point, uh, but we hope that the world of statistics would say that that would cancel out from randomized uh, assignment. Well said, well said. All right. Samuel, thank you very much. Thank you very much.